Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to the channel. So today we're going to make a fancy umbrella stand for old Fred the farm truck. We're making actually another one for a friend, but this critter goes right in the receiver. I'm going to show you how we make these things. When we were out on power tour, we ran into some folks that, that had made one and it was super cool. Slides right in the receiver. We drop umbrella, good to go. So I'm going to show you how we're going to make this critter and it beats having to put up the big old you know, expando tent every time, worrying about it blowing away. This thing's gonna be super cool, so let's dig in. I'm gonna show you uh, step by step how we're gonna make this thing. All right, let's go. First thing, we gotta add a receiver hitch to, to Fred's old bumper here. So let's, uh, let's start drilling. So I think this is gonna be the worst part. So I just got this little step bumper receiver thing from Harbor Freight. Just gotta get this under here, mark it up, drill the holes, bolt this thing in. That's going to be the worst of it, I think, drilling this plate steel from underneath here, but we'll get it. We'll drill one hole first, get a hole in there, and then uh, we'll bolt it up and kind of use it as a pilot, I guess. Let's get this critter drilled out. No burning my arms up. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Easier drilling from the top down. Alright, one down, three to go. Okay, go grab some bolts so we get this critter bolted up. So these last back two holes, the holes on the plate were too far back. They would have been like under the license plate. So I'm just drilling two new holes completely through everything. I think we should be good. So just drill these last two out. We'll be good. There we go. One more. Beautiful. Now let's get the vacuum, bolt this up, and we'll get to building this umbrella rack. Sweet. All right, so we've got the hitch all on Fred. So this was just a scrap piece of two by two tubing. It's eighth inch tubing, plenty for what we need to do here. Got it from a local uh, steel place that we deal with all the time up in Pensacola. So it was like eight feet, I think eight feet something. Yeah, eight foot four. So we'll just do a little four foot two. A little center line, what my plan is, Actually, I grab another two by four. Actually, I got a couple right here. Get this supported, because I think it'll stay supported, but just in case. So my plan is, I gotta drill a pilot hole through the center, and then take a hole saw, and then hole saw through it. Now I'll get my bandsaw, cut it the rest of the way through, and then we can fit up the, the piece of tubing for inside it. So let's get a drill pilot first so I don't snap myself with a hole saw. Hopefully I'm drilling it straight. There we go. Switch over to the old hole saw. I've got some tap juice, cutting fluid. They don't smoke my hole saw a bit. I probably should have used that when I was drilling the bumper, but I didn't. All right, let's start drilling, see if I can break my wrist or not. So we're halfway through, drill through the other side. I think it's gonna be beautiful. All right, we did it. And I knew I'd break that pilot bit, but we're through. So I'm just gonna grab the bandsaw and we'll shoot that in half. And I'll show you what I had in mind. Beautiful. So my thoughts are, now that we've got this hole saw hole in here, 
we'll take that piece of pipe we'll cut that to like set it right inside there then we can zoop 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 and just kind of weld it right in there so let's uh let's start getting the tubing fabricated and then we'll come back to these pieces get them all welded up so my plan is with the tubing i'm just going to take this i figure i think a foot is plenty so i'm just going to cut this into two one foot sections so i'm going to mark out a foot two feet chop them off there and what i want to do is just i would say like two inches down three inches down let's go three inches down i'm going to drill a hole there and then another three inches on the other side i'm going to drill a hole there so i'm going to put this in a vise i want to drill two like half inch holes here because what we're going to do is we're going to take a 3 8 nut and we're going to weld the 3 8 nut to this so that we can have a little set screw to lock down the umbrella so before we cut it let's put this in the vise and go drill drill and then we'll chop chop get it all squared away so i'm going to get the drill and we'll this out thought process is leave it whole it's a little easier to drill you don't have this little piece like little knuckle flopping all around so we'll just drill this thing out real quick so i'm going to weld the 3 8 nut on here but i'm going to drill a half inch hole that way there if our nut is slightly off when we weld it we don't have to worry about okay golly what are we going to do to get this thing to to thread in there so that's all it's going to go with a big bit real slow carefully don't hurt ourselves perfect A little dicage. Oh man, that really sucks. I'm not sure if I have another blade. Well, that's a bummer. Well, that was a big negatory on the bandsaw blades. I was remembering back, and I think I've got a couple, but. I don't know where I put them. So we're just going to plan B for now so we can keep on trucking. I got old Mr. Sawzall and just go easy and hopefully this will do a decent cut. So we've got both of the vertical pieces set, drilled a hole, and what I'm going to do is just kind of lay it flat, but I just took an old piece of threaded rod, put a nut on it, and I'm just going to set it down whoop, like that so I can put a finger on it kind of straight and then weld it in. Zoop. So we'll have that nice little snug in there. But before we do that and start any welding, I want to get all the drilling done. So I'm going to need to take the tubing, shake all the stuff out of it but i want to slide this into the receiver and mark both sides i'm just going to slide this in don't have to go super deep but pretty much deep looks good i guess like right there and then i'm going to mark both sides so now i'm going to drill from both sides and then send the bit right through it i don't have a bit big enough to get i think we need like a 5 8 so i'm just going to drill it out with a half inch and then we'll hit it with the step bit to, to get it out the rest of the way. It's only eighth inch material, so it shouldn't be any big deal. To make sure that the hole that we drilled is straight up and down and not sideways. That wouldn't work well. All right, let's drill these critters out. So got the old handy dandy step bit. We just set this in here. Nice. All right. Look at that thing of beauty. Look at that. Yeah. Perfect. Got a nice hole in it. 
I'm gonna take a pin, try both of them to make sure, make sure they're gonna work beautiful. Little pin. Perfecto mundo. Nice. We're set. Let's start doing some welding. So I use my little step stool here. Just kind of clamp it in these critters on here. And these are just going to sit on those nachalinas that we made. So we just want to sit these right in here. And just gotta make sure that they're square because we don't want our umbrella kind of hanging off on an angle. So when I drilled through with a hole saw, it was off a little bit. So I just gotta take a little bit out of this edge. And then, yeah, same with this one. We just gotta do a little touch, touch of a er, er, right there. So let's just grind those little slots out so that'll fit in there square. And then we'll be, then we'll be set. We can weld it all up. classic example of what not to do. Sparks in the arm, sparks flying every wrong way, but we're good. So let's get the old welding machine out. We'll weld these critters in place. That was really dumb. Should have had an FR shirt on or something. So I got my little Miller Matic welder set up. So we'll get these Kind of tacked in. I got a square. We'll make sure they're er, nice and square going up. And then we'll weld both sides. Do the same with this one. Then we'll weld our nuts in. And then we'll just kind of lay them down so it'll be a nice easy right there. Make that kind of pretty. So let's tack it in. We'll tack it in and then we'll square it up and keep on welding. Might not be perfect, but it'll work. I need more practice. That's what it is. I should have bought one of those little welding triangle doodadders. Some extra stitches in there. When I drilled through, I kind of drilled through the steel, so it was super thin, so I just went and gave it up. But it'll work. Let's weld some nuts on there and then um, we can weld the tops and bottoms. So let's just flip these on top of the stand here. I'll reclamp them. And then we can just weld the tops and bottoms of these real quick. Shazam, it's all welded up. Just gotta do a little clean up on aisle five. I think we'll prep these babies. Get them ready for a coat of paint. Let's just give these babies a little clean up here. Get all the oil and stuff off them. Give them a good cleaning. Wax and grease remover. Ready for ready for primer. So I'll certainly admit that I am not a professional welder. I used to be pretty good. One of my old jobs, I used to do a lot of aluminum welding, and I was pretty good at that. I used to have to get certified every year. But I'm finding I'm having a hard time seeing. So a project like this though is good because the welds aren't that critical and It'll be just fine. You're not doing anything structural. So I think this is a good little practice thing. If you're learning how to weld, 
make a little simple project like this. I think it's a good idea. And I know I definitely need to get behind that. Even though the MIG's the easiest thing, it's just, if you don't do it, you kind of forget. Let's get a of some primer on this babies. I just tucked them off the side here so we can back Fred and Karina's car back in here and not have to touch them. Just gonna give them a good, nice big heavy coat. See you in a sec. We'll see you in the morning. All right, so let's get some paint on these critters. Oh, it looks better already. Try to paint inside there as best I can. Critters dry today. Tonight when we get home from work, let's go uh, give it a shot. We'll stick an umbrella in there and see if it works. Fingers crossed, it will. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. These things are awesome. The guy that had there that power tour, man, that was so much better. Put it in there, stick the umbrella, a few lawn chairs underneath. Super sweet. So yeah, should be good. All right, so let's give it a whirl. We got them both made up, ready to rock and roll. This one's got a little crooked Notchalina bolt thingy, but let's go see if it'll fit. I'm pretty anxious about it, so let's go give it a whirl. Take it all out to Fred. So this is our first test fit, so hopefully, hopefully all goes well. It should, it should. That fits. I brought a pin. You have the old magic pin, just I don't know why. Boom. Perfect. And there it is. That's all there is to it. So I'm not gonna put a hairpin in it because we're gonna take it out. But let's get an umbrella and we'll we're gonna give it a whirl. So I think it's a heck of a lot handier than the big giant. You know, the big Mongo 10 by 10 tent things. Yeah, that's it. So we got an umbrella. We got a Fred umbrella. All right, let's see if it fits. Like a charm, really. Got a little bolt here, give it a little snug snug. So it opened up. This is so cool. How do you open this? Turn the handle. I don't know how to open it. Oh, it's got a crank a -roni. I was trying to push it. Oh, Karina bought a fancy one. Look at this. Look at that. And we got an umbrella. Super cool. Now all we need, we got our chairs. We got shades over here. Pop our little chairs out. Whoa. Look at this. I don't know how, how you open these things. There we go. Look at that. Something so simple. So that cost for two of them, I think it was like $40 altogether. With the tubing, with the donation, the square tubing was like 30 something dollars. A couple of bolts get yourself an umbrella you're good to go look at it it's beautiful we're ready we're ready for power tour 2024 we're cruising the coast that's the next big one we're gonna hit let's grab a cold one you always gotta be prepared fancy ice chest look at it. we're ready to go Ready. I love it. I'm gonna sit right here in the yard under my new umbrella. Cheers! 
<laughs> I love it. So hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you haven't already. That that really means the world to us. So thanks again. We'll catch you on the next one. We'll see you soon. Y'all take care. Thanks. Bye.